taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic proof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song And you cannot save me Cause I don't need saving it's everything I've been chasing All here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts People who are half nuts You are not as tough as <laughs> Hello my friends, how you doing today? So today I'm going to review the Beretta 21A. It is a compact 22 long rifle semi-automatic pistol. First thing I like about this pistol is it is incredibly easy to chamber around. There's a little lever right there that you just push forward like that. It pops up, you put a round in the chamber, you close it, and you're ready to go. The second thing I like about this pistol is that it is both double action and single action. So you can choose to keep around in the chamber. I keep it half cocked round in the chamber and I do not use the safety. This is the way if I need to use this pistol, all I have to do is pull the trigger and I'm good to go. If however, I decided I wanted to use this in single action mode, all I need to do is cock it and put on the safety and I'm ready to go. I like options. This double action, single action provides different options to carry the pistol in different modes. The third thing I like about this pistol is its compact size. As you can see, this is an incredibly small pistol. This can be hidden practically anywhere. If you have small pockets, it'll most likely still fit. If you're a woman and you have a small purse, this will likely still fit. The fourth thing I like about this pistol is its rugged construction. It is an all metal chassis. Yes, it does have plastic sides on it, but that's all right. I like that I can accidentally drop this and it's likely to still work. So it's a nice rugged pistol. The fifth thing I like about this pistol is despite it being a 22 long rifle, it's fun to shoot and it's inexpensive. It's, it's a great option when you want to go shooting. You don't want to spend a lot of money. So those are the five things I like about this pistol. Now I'm going to tell you the five things I don't like about this pistol. The first thing I don't like about this pistol is the sights. If you look right there, the sights are actually pretty horrible. It's all gray. I have a hard time being able to sight this, especially considering I am farsighted. So what's close to me is blurry. So I'm trying to get this sighted and the front sight is very blurry to me. Even when I was younger and I didn't have poor eyesight up close, this was still hard for me to sight. The second thing I don't like about this pistol is it's a very poor caliber for self-defense. 22 long rifle can kill a person, but it could nick an artery and take him 20 minutes to bleed out. And in the meantime, they can kill you. The only time it's all right to shoot a person is when you feel for your life. And if I'm in fear of my life, I'm not gonna wanna rely on a 22 long rifle. I'd rather have a larger caliber to uh, protect me if I fear for my life. So the third thing I don't like about this pistol is this, this magazine only holds seven rounds. Seven rounds is just isn't that much. You know, it'd be cool if it held 10 or 15 rounds, but it is what it is. The fourth thing I don't like about this pistol is it doesn't have a spent shell ejector. So when you shoot this pistol, the shell pushes back on the slide and gets ejected, okay? But sometimes it doesn't push the slide all the way back and now you got a shell stuck in there and you got to try to dig it out. I find that it's best to stick like a little rod in there to push it out. It's just really inconvenient when the uh, shell gets stuck in the barrel. And it actually happens to me more often than I would like. The fifth thing I don't like about this pistol is you got to keep it really clean and use the right ammunition or it just doesn't cycle. If you do own this, I mean, it, it will work. You just got to make sure you're using some really good ammo and keep it clean, keep it oiled and then it, it's likely to give you less problems. So those are the five things I like and five things that I hate about this Beretta 21A. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Now let's go shoot this pistol, okay? I'm taking shots at the enemy. I'm 
I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy. If I got something to say, you better let me speak. Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything. I pop off with the new rock, electronic. Dear my friends, we're gonna shoot the Beretta 21A. It's a 22 long rifle. We're gonna shoot the cans. I'm gonna shoot fairly close, about 20 feet away, uh, because the sights on this suck and it's a short gun and I'm not very accurate with little pistols like this. So we're gonna do about 20 feet away. Let's see how we do. Uh, these are uh, used soda cans. I put a little bit of water in them to weigh them down a little bit on, so they wouldn't fly away with every small gust of wind. Let's get started, let's see how we do. Things that are close are blurry to me, so these sights are blurry. So it's very hard for me to hit the target using these sights. I think it's a little bit more exciting when the soda cans have soda in them. So I'm going to go ahead and get some soda cans and put some soda in them, and then we'll shoot them, okay? I put the soda back in the cans and now we're gonna shoot them and they should uh, be a lot more interesting when I shoot them. So let's give it a shot.
I do have to say that shooting larger caliber pistols is much more interesting than shooting this little thing. It's cheap to shoot. You know, honestly, I would never want to have to rely on this to save my life. The only time it's appropriate to shoot somebody with a gun is when you feel like your life is in danger. And if you're feeling like your life is in danger, do you really want to rely on a little teeny tiny 22 caliber pistol that's not even that accurate? It'll definitely kill. There's no question that this will kill. You may shoot a person and they could still kill you and die 30 minutes later from bleeding out. I think this is just a fun little plinker. Not even that fun. For some reason, I love it though. I don't know why I love this little pistol. Maybe because it's cute. It's a little bit fun to shoot. I'm sorry we didn't shoot more, but we'll shoot a lot more next time, I promise. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and come again next week where I guarantee you I'll be shooting something a heck of a lot more fun than this.